key to doing a good plank is to keep your body straight like a board. Your toes are on the floor and your forearms are on the floor, much like a push-up position. Clench your abdominal muscles and your buttocks muscles, your glutes. Keep it as still as possible and try to hold the exercise for 30 to 60 seconds. If you find this too difficult, you can modify this by leaning on a chair with your forearms. With your knees underneath your hips will be the easiest position. As you move your knees back, it will become more difficult. Continue to brace your abdominal muscles and your glute muscles. If you find the chair planks too easy, you can do a modified plank where you're still on your forearms but you're on your knees rather than your toes. Cleanse your abdominal muscles and your buttocks muscles. Once you find this easier, you can advance back to a regular plank. The side plank is a more advanced move. Your ankles are the fulcrum and you're up on your forearms. Again, you'd like to hold this for 30 to 60 seconds as still as possible. If this is too difficult, you can modify it by lying on your knees. And then once you've mastered that, you can go back to the full side plank where your fulcrum is the ankles. Abdominal crunches are a staple when it comes to core strengthening. To make it easy, place your hands on your thighs and when doing the crunch, glide your hands up towards your knees. Notice my chin is pointing up towards the ceiling. This protects my neck. Abdominal crunches should be a slow methodical movement and you can hold the crunch at the top for a split second. The more you can do, the better. Start with reps of 10. Some people like to hold the crunch for a few seconds at the end. When doing the pelvic lift, you should feel your gluteal muscles, your buttocks muscles clenching. Again, do the motion slowly and methodically. Hold the lift at the top for a few seconds. Start with about 10 reps, and as you get better, continue to add more repetitions. Bird dog is a more advanced move. You will be extending one leg and the opposite arm at the same time. Try to keep your knee straight and raise your leg as high as your back. You can also do a variation of this exercise where your arm is not lifted to the side but lifted forward. If you find it too difficult to lift your arm and leg at the same time, you can do it by simply lifting your leg only. Remember to keep your hips flush to the floor and when extending your leg try to get your knee straight and your leg as high as your back or higher. Try 10 reps and then switch to the other side. Again like our other exercises the motion should be slow and methodical and if you find it too hard to do your arm and your leg at the same time you can do the leg on its own. It is very important to keep your hips flush to the floor. This is cheating when you lift your hip up like that and you will not get the muscle development that you need. So keep that pelvis flat to the floor. You'll feel this in your upper buttocks and your low back. Chasing stars and holding you 